uh, because obviously we talk sewer, we talk floods, we talk major rain events, and so um, I'm not going to read this slide to you. All of you have this. Um, but these are some of the regional efforts that the city of Valdosta has done to try to get the word out to see what's going on. Because when we talk about us flooding, it wasn't just us, it was 46 counties in Georgia and 17 in Florida in 2009. Um, we don't know an exact number in 2013 because it wasn't considered a 100 year event or bigger. So USGS did not do a full out report on that. So that makes it a little bit more challenging unless we go to every single community. So what we did is we've really been reaching out ever since 2009. As you can see in this list, We've talked to everybody from local, state, federal. We have gone to the governor's office. We have done presentations with the Swanee Satilla. Um, we have reached out to whomever that we could to try to get some attention and kind of get us going in the same direction. Because I think we all know if we're doing it individually, it's harder to kind of get some momentum. So we really have reached out in a number of ways to try to, to get some momentum on this project. Um, these are just some key things that we would like to highlight that we've been a part of since 2009. Um, we have worked with the USGS and they actually helped us um, host a flood preparedness meeting in 2013. And what they found in that was really that there was a lack of understanding of what all information is available through USGS, not just in Georgia but also in Florida. So what they did, and I've actually given everybody a copy of it, they actually worked very closely with them, our EMA director and myself, to do this flood tracking chart, it's got all kinds of information in here. A lot of people didn't realize there was flood pages that they could go and check. <coughs> Some of it actually provides forecasting. Um, because the big thing that would happen is floods, or we'd hear storms coming, but people didn't even know should, especially the ones that flooded, should we evacuate? What should we do? So that was a huge thing that came out. Actually, USGS did this at no cost to the city or county. Um, they brought me 21,000 copies. I've taken them to every county that's involved. If you would like to take a box with you, I'd be happy to give you one. Um, but it's been a tremendous resource, and if nothing else, it doesn't apply just to places that flooded, but it gives you tips about storm events. Like if you see water on the road, don't drive in it. I mean, a lot of people end up with vehicle damage or hurt themselves. So that was a huge thing.